folks, how are we going? Now today we've just gone through an extremely hot day and I mean by not just hot weather, 38 degrees, we had some high northerlies and we've still got some winds coming through but it's turned to the south, it's coming from the south but before then, 38 for those who don't live in Melbourne, 13th of February, one of the worst days, uh, thankfully uh, very safe for a lot of people, although we lost a lot of power, a lot of places are without power. But more importantly, in the garden for me is to see how our plants fared with this sort of weather. Now, I know a lot of plants would have dried out. I've got some out in the full open that copped a beating, and look at these tomatoes. They've got a bit of curl on the top there, controlling themselves from dying off completely. But we've got a lot of die back on the tomato plants. You'll find out with your lettuce plants, they may have bolted if you weren't hydrating them properly. So important to keep plants like lettuce well hydrated all the time especially on hot days otherwise they'll go straight to seed within a day and they'll become very bitter so you won't enjoy it so keep the hydration up is important but go out and check your garden my tomatoes are okay we've got a little bit of yellowing going on here I know some of you are saying they're finishing but I started very late with this sort of quadrangle string that I'm using to train them up without actually tying them so they're balanced between the string and all things like that a little bit of yellowing cut that off and it's not just tomatoes eggplants capsicums cucumbers even basil plants if they've been scorched on top because mainly of the hot weather and not enough moisture in the ground so important to hydrate your plants before they start to wilt and I said it before even if they have wilted and you forgot to hydrate it do not wait till the evening till the weather drops in temperature to hydrate them because you may not find the plant there by the time you go out there now if your plants are struggling or showing a little bit of um, wear and tear from the weather not only water is what they need, they also need to be fertilised. Now, I don't recommend you use a liquid fertiliser that's high in nitrogen or even just a general purpose liquid fertiliser because you may shock the plant and cause more damage than it's worth. But what you can do is use a seaweed based fertiliser or tonic as it's well known. I recommend our liquid gold and while we're talking about that I want to show you a couple of things. What I've got here is our liquid gold, that's this one here, that's our seaweed based tonic slash fertilizer that I use in my garden and recommend everybody to give it a go. Now there are other ones in the market, now what you're seeing here are the bottles that I bought previously to do our liquid trial test that we're going to do and we are going to go back to that so folks for those who haven't seen any updates on that liquid feed, well I did do a quick post mentioning that we've had to abandon it because because of adverse weather effects on the plants. So what we're going to do is build our little greenhouse or igloo and then do the trial under controlled environment. But in the interim, in the meantime, so don't, by the way, don't text saying what's happened, watch the video, don't skip it, otherwise you're going to be texting me and if you do, <laughs> or messaging me, or somebody else will comment for you or in response. All right, what I want to show you here is our liquid fertilizer. Now I've shaken my one up, I'm going to shake up the maxi crop seaweed plus fertilizer it says this is the sea salt the most popular we've got the garden basics seaweed liquid that's what they call it and we've got Searles C-Max which is a seaweed organic nutrient so they've all been shaken yep not stirred shaken put the lid back on making sure the contents, contents inside are well mixed and I want to show you what seaweed fertilizers look like or tonics so we're doing the garden basics at the moment, okay, geez they stink, this has been sitting out in the sun as have all the bottles, so they've all experienced the same climatic conditions, so that's the garden basics seaweed fertiliser. Next is the Searles seaweed. Okay. Alright, now we'll do, we'll do sea salt next, okay we'll put that here. Okay, and there's your sea salt. <laughs> and now we're doing the maxi crop seaweed. They've all got the same colour, haven't they? Except for this one here, which is uh, the sea max. Is that right? So we've got that. Let me put them in order like this for you so you can see. And now we've got this one here. So you can see pretty much a similar consistency going on there. Dark, smelly. And now for my favourite, obviously I'm going to be a bit biased here, this is our liquid gold, so let's have a look. Now we should just put it in front here like that, there we are. So you can keep them in the background while you're watching this one go in the, in the cup. For those who haven't tried our liquid gold, are you ready? 
Now I'm going to tell you how it's made. If you want to see how, what it looks like, you're going to have to wait for the end of the video. Now this is made under low temperature pressure, so cold press you could almost say, like extra virgin olive oil. Now I don't know how these are made, but my guess would be that they are, under, are not under cold press. I might be wrong in, that say, in saying that. But at the end of the day, ours is a seaweed fertilizer that's had the nutritional value extracted through a cold process rather than a hot. And by the way, it doesn't smell. There's got to be something wrong with it, you reckon? Let's have a look. And did you know that this stuff here is made right here in Victoria? Maybe all of them are, but I'm not sure about that. But I know ours is, and it's from freshly collected Australian bull kelp, storm cast bull kelp. So they don't go out there hunting for it. It's all been brought in by the storms. Better time to pour than now? A better pour. All right, here we go. Oh, what's going wrong here? There is absolutely something definitely wrong. What's going on? Why is ours clear like a weak cup of tea and these are as black as the ace of spades? What's going on here? Are we doing something wrong with our processing, guys? Nah, absolutely nothing wrong. That's clear 100% liquid seaweed. Cold press is what I call it. And it doesn't smell. Oh god, that stinks. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. Guys, I'm sure all of you who have tried one, if not all of these products, know how strong the smell is and how easily they stain. Whereas this one here is clean seaweed and it won't stain. And I dare not put my finger in those, but I will in those. Look at that, how clean is that? Now that's what we use, folks. Because ours is like this, does that mean it's actually weaker than the rest? Definitely not. I can tell you that's clean liquid seaweed fertilizer or tonic if you like. And I know the others are made in their own way and probably got something else in there as well, but I'm not gonna be the one to claim that. If I am mistaken, please feel free to share your views if there is or not in something else in the other liquid fertilizers or seaweeds that there are there. So. Back to the topic, more importantly in your garden, when you're feeding your garden, don't feed anything too acidic at the moment or anything too rich because after the extreme weathers that we've had. For those in Victoria, and obviously if you're experiencing similar like weathers in your state or whatever ever country you're living in, and you can get your hands on liquid gold in America, imagine that, eh? Ain't gonna happen. <laughs> so, but if you are experiencing difficult weather, use something that's light or half strength or our liquid gold. If you go with the others and that's what you're happy with, by all means, continue with them if you like. I recommend you go half strength. But with ours, you'll feel safe that you can use it and not cook your plants. Once a month is all you need to do and that will put the life back into your soil because we're not feeding the plant, we're feeding the life in the soil. The microbiome in the soil is vital for the life of your plants above ground and in turn, your animals, wildlife and your own personal health. So feed them something that's clean. That's what I reckon, it's like drinking some moonshine. That's super alcohol with no sugar in it. Check out our website. We don't sell moonshine, by the way. We sell liquid gold on our website. We do a special for you, don't worry. I'll tell the online team to drop the price today only. From Eva Silly, made Essie. That's Vasili'sGarden.com.